Not quite John Deere, but I think it'll suffice. It's old enough. So I picked up this dyno, and uh, it was supposed to be in working order, but it sat outside for quite some time. So, we've got the oil cooler that was leaking repaired, and today we're working on getting this cleaned out and cleaning out the reservoir, putting the cooler back in, and then we're going to put some oil in it, and I hope today to get a tractor hooked up to her. And that will let me know if the oil pump is any good. Because on this particular unit, if the oil pump is no good, this thing is a paperweight. However, if my oil pump is good, then we will work on finding a replacement horsepower gauge, oil temperature gauge, and I'm not sure, but today we're going to hopefully find out if the tachometer works. So, like I said, I got the reservoir cleaned out. If you look down in the bottom there, you got a 3-inch suction at the bottom and a 2-inch return. And how this dynamometer works is you get this big yellow wheel. And that is attached to a valve inside of here. And as your PTO is running and turning your pump down there at the bottom, you are forcing oil through here into this gate or this valve. Okay, so when you turn this valve, you are restricting return flow to the reservoir. As you restrict your return flow, it picks up on this hose, comes through this dampener, and the pressure is read via this gauge, and you can see by the dial, converted over to horsepower. So, I guess today, hopefully, we're going to find out whether or not it's any good. Stay tuned. So here we are back to the M&W dyno. We've got the oil cooler put back in, got the reservoir cleaned out. Oil cooler is dry on the exterior. So what we're doing is we're running water through it and if we see a buildup of any liquid in the bottom of that reservoir, that's a little bit of oil down there, but anyway, if we see a buildup of any more liquid down in the bottom, we'll know that we have a leak yet. And that this cooler is either no good or still in need of repair. I'll run this water through here for maybe 30 minutes and we'll see what happens.
Thank you.